Sam, it's great to be here to support the Swim and Survive program in the Swan River. As you uh, would know, it's uh, the fourth uh, black spot for drownings in Australia and it's uh, important that the programs that you run uh, get out to the people and let them be aware of the, uh, the dangers of water. Well, I would say to the community that uh, they must be uh, extremely uh, vigilant when their children are particularly are in the water but as we have seen from some of the drownings there's adults who drown as well and it's an area where uh, the old story that alcohol and water doesn't mix so you need to uh, be, have someone in control a skipper and, and a real skipper someone who's not going to um, take charge of uh, a vessel that becomes a, a dangerous weapon on the waterways. Yeah, many years ago I hired a uh, hire boat at uh, one of the catamarans down near uh, Matilda Bay and uh, it overturned and I got caught under the, uh, the boat with uh, a rope around my neck but managed to get out of the uh, water by not panicking but uh, by uh, taking some careful steps but in that type of situation it was so uh, it's, it's, it would have been so simple just to stay under and drown and it's uh, it, it was something that I hadn't even thought about could occur. So again, there's another message in itself to say to people that um, be wise and be uh, careful. So, well, the federal government has supported with uh, financial support to particularly, it's, uh, and we have made another commitment for $15 million over the next five years. And we have committed 7.4 over the last, I think, three years. But the commitment for that is given by the, the awareness that uh, the federal government has of how dangerous our waterways can be, how important our lives are, how important it is to, that everyone wants to come home, enjoy our waterways, but it's important that the work that the Royal Life Saving Society does to uh, highlight those awareness campaigns and also uh, keep in mind that it's part of our beautiful nation, it's part of our beautiful lifestyle, is the waterways. And I just thank the Royal Life Saving Society for their strong advocacy uh, and their diligence for the, to the community about uh, the Swim and Survive program, but also the fact that uh, you do save lives, and that's uh, an important part of uh, our and fabric of our society, so well done.